Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have another Kamen Rider X-Aid review for you today. Uh, this is fourth in the Level Up Rider series, Kamen Rider Genmu Action Gamer. Now I know it's written G-E-N-M, um, but you can see here that it's uh, Genmu when written out in Katakana, and I'm going to probably call him Genmu. Some people are calling him Genum or Genm, but it's just easier to say Genmu. I know it's written... Roman, the Romanization is G-N-M with no U on the end, but I kind of like Genmu, so I'm just going to call him that. But as you can see, this is a single pack figure, so he does not come with a uh, level 1 body, so you have to use the one that came with X-Aid. But he is primarily a repainted X-Aid, although he does look pretty excellent. Taking a look at the side there, shows that he is compatible with the level 1 body from X-Aid. Picture of him there on the side. Not really much going on on the bottom there. Taking a look, actually I guess I'll show you the top. He kind of wraps around top onto the, flap onto the top I should say. Um, so yeah, again, just shows level one. Here he is here with the bug visor. And then it advertises the next in the line, which is uh, Robot Gamer. Which is coming soon. But let's go ahead and get Gamu out of the packaging and we'll take a closer look. Alright, so here he is out of the packaging. Uh, it does come, of course, with his level 1 face. Very simple to just turn him around. You can see the little peg hole right there. It's kind of hard to see because everything's black, but there is a little peg right there. So you just pop that on. And there we go. So there you go. There is Genmu with the level 1 face on the back. Now he is, of course, just a repaint of X-Aid, so he's got all the same articulation points that X-Aid does. Head is on a ball joint, moves from side to side and down. It's a little hindered by the kind of collar he has as far as going back. But then you have the same shoulder joints, you have the bicep swivel, you have the elbow joint, the wrists move, the fingers. I mean, really, all the articulation is the same for all of the Level Up Rider series. Waist swivel, uh, double jointed knees for the transformation, the up and out for the hip, and then ball joint foot. Um, but yeah, this guy looks great. I mean, he's very dark, so he's probably showing up a little tough on my camera here, but uh, I'll see if I can get in closer. So you can take a look at the, the dark metallic paint for the purple. Looks really nice, especially here on the kind of ankles and the feet. I really like that down there. The gamer driver is nicely detailed. And then moving up a little bit. Now he does have the sword and the hammer mode for the Gashikon Breaker, even though he doesn't use that. But because he is, you know, kind of the prototype version of X-Aid, he has X-Aid's weapons. Really nice metallic paint here on the shoulders and then on the collar as well back here. Uh, a little bit on the wrists as well. So I really like the look of him. I love the face here. You can see his mouth is kind of the metallic purple. Um, so yeah, he looks great. The other accessory that he comes with is the bug visor. So you can see a lot of nice detail molded in there. It has a kind of blade mode and then a blaster mode. And how this works is you just open up his hand. Even though there is a little peg hole there, there's no peg on the underneath part of this. And I think it's because of how it changes around. But you just put it in his hand, and he holds it, and he can fire. And then what you do is leave the grip part in his hand and just unpeg this, and then turn it around. You can see that there's a peg in the back and a peg in the front. And then you just peg it on like this if you want him to use the bladed mode. So pretty cool. I like the blaster mode better myself. It's just personal preference. So I'm probably going to leave it on that. But he grips it pretty well. I mean, better than most of the riders grip their weapons, I have to say. He looks good holding it. Like I said, the figure is a lot of black. But I think the, uh, the metallic purple color is a really nice juxtaposition with the black. And it looks really nice. Really reminds me of Proto Drive from Kamen Rider Drive as far as the color scheme and I think it works here as well as I really thought it worked for Proto Drive 
it's definitely a nice color scheme overall. But we'll go ahead and get him transformed to interact with the level 1 body from X-Aid. So being a repaint of X-Aid transforms exactly the same way, I went ahead and removed the chest piece. Um, you're going to fold the two uh, at the bicep swivel, fold the forearms forward as I have with the sides of the forearms facing forward so that the bottom of his palm is facing back. And then you're just going to rotate his legs at the thigh swivel and then use that double joint in the knee to kind of just park the feet right underneath the gamer driver. Very simply like that. And then you're going to just slide the head on the back up, just like that. You're going to go ahead and plug this into the front, like you do with all the others. And then you're going to bring them around to the back. And then this slot right there is going to fit onto that peg there. There we go. Get them all pegged on. And then boom! You have Genmu level 1. Again, it's a lot of black, but I really like the look of it. He definitely looks sinister and menacing. Only bummer part here is you really have no way to get the bug visor to interact with the fist because they don't open at all. They're just solid um, fists with a slot hole drilled through the middle. So, I mean, I guess you could put... No, that doesn't even work. I was going to say he could kind of hold it like that, just very tentatively, just kind of putting the two points of the blaster in his fist. But it looks kind of weird. Because of how this connects, because this is a solid grip that they have to put their hand through, there's no way for him to hold it. So that's kind of a bummer, but he still looks really good in this mode. I like it a lot. Of course, he does have the rider hanging on the back. <laughs> Not much you can do about that, but at least because he's very black, he kind of blends into the back a little bit more than the others do. So that's one little positive, I guess. Uh, but overall, I really do like the level one mode. I think it looks very cool. So I like him a lot. I can understand that some people might pass because he is just a straight repaint of X-Aid. But, I mean, he's pretty much the main villain in the series and you're going to want to have a villain for your heroes to fight against for your displays or if you actually play with the toys, you know, however you enjoy them. But I definitely think it's a really nice paint scheme and being the only villain is definitely incentive uh, to pick him up. Plus he does come with a new accessory, which looks nice. I do appreciate the bug visor. I think it's uh, definitely a nice accessory, a lot of nice molded in detail and he kind of holds it better than most of the riders hold their weapons so there's another positive um but here's x just for fun you can really see that they are the same figure obviously this guy is crazy more colorful but i mean it makes sense this is a definitely an excellent color scheme for a villain so i think it looks really nice and i really like it i can understand if you want to wait for a sale or something like that because you know it's not it's not really bringing a whole lot new to the table. It's really just a new accessory. But it's a killer paint job, and it's nice to finally have a villain for the series. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd like to hear your opinions. So please let me know down below. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this look at uh, 04 in the Level Up Rider series for Kamen Rider Genmu Action Gamer. Uh, please like this video. Please share. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you guys for watching.